I'm struggling to see how these are going to be functional offices. We've got less than a month until we have to get out of our old studio. We have to take all of our gear out of there and put it into this dusty old warehouse and hope it doesn't get ruined. It's been a really long time since we've made a video updating you on the status of this evil empire. Because it's been such a long time since our last update video, uh, let me give you a quick refresher for the uninitiated. At the end of 2021, we were abruptly evicted from our shared studio space. Yeah, this and having found nothing on the market that would fit all of us, we decided we needed to get creative. We ordered a handful of used shipping containers, had them dropped off inside this big dusty warehouse, and quickly got to work. Most of us had no experience working on a project like this, and the rest of us were named Kristoff. Connection failed. Please check the status of the fixtures. Please check the status of the fixtures. <laughs> So we copied him, and we tried our very best. Despite our lack of time and resources and know-how, I'm really glad that this is how everything turned out. This place is kind of perfect. In the first episode, we pitted our inexperience in construction against a looming eviction deadline. We raced against time to seal off these containers from the dusty warehouse in order to keep our equipment safe. Spoiler alert, we didn't make it. Our uh, spaces are not even close to ready and uh, we're feeling great, feeling fantastic. Episode two saw us getting super DIY as we figured out how to move the containers into their correct positions and also how to get them nice and level one with another. Progress is uh, a lot slower than expected, but keep back doing it. <laughs> Episode three follows my mental collapse as I struggle to get the chipboard walls fastened onto the inside of my container, hoping to make this space feel more like an office and less like an STD of the sea. How the fuck? They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. And then as for episode four, well, I guess this is episode four, because we took a nine month break off of making these studio updates. Because what, well, I will be, I, because I'm an idiot, I guess. <laughs> But thankfully, by the end of this video, you're gonna to get to see how we got here at an interior office that we really, really love. Enjoy the video and tell your friends you love them. That's, enjoy the video. So I think what we're gonna do is wire up all the switches and outlets today, and then over the next two days, just move in some desks, maybe one shelving unit, and kind of put a halt on the studio build and spend a few weeks just focusing on videos. I'm mildly worried that if we get too comfortable in the video making process, I'm just not gonna wanna get back into this um, build phase. That is today's task. I just realized I don't need to put these face coverings on because they don't cover the holes. Uh, and I ordered oversized outlet covers today. It's just attention to detail. I, I really can see the detail of where the cover doesn't fit. Yeah. What am I wasting time doing this for? Who knows? As soon as we had all the outlets and light switches wired in and we had electricity 
functioning in here. Ready? Three, two, one. Damn it! We decided we wanted to get to work as soon as possible. So we took our existing desks and storage units and shelves and workbenches and we just threw them in here because we wanted to figure out how do we actually want to work in this space? How much storage do we need? How many shooting options do we need? And more importantly, how are we going to make this feel like a comfortable and productive work environment for both of us? Because, well, because we're in a shipping container. It's not big. Josh doesn't even have an EF camera and we do, so. Oh. Josh, we're keeping your 10 to 18. Wow, this is a dirty lens. Oh Once we were all moved in, we settled into like a quasi layout that felt pretty comfortable. And then we spent like the next nine months to a year just working in here, barely touching anything. And that's kind of why you haven't heard anything from our office build out in a while, which is that like, it's very much a work in progress. And we want to make sure that every step along the way is a step in the right direction and not something that we're going to have to undo in six months or a year because we screwed it up. Obviously, what you're seeing here now is uh, quite a bit different than what you just saw us move into. So let's try and get you up to speed. One of the biggest upgrades I made to my setup was switching from my 13 inch M1 MacBook into this new mid-tier Mac Studio and Apple display. We also hung a nice large soft overhead light in the center of the container with some magnets, but it kept falling down, so. I also threw some shelves up above my monitor because that empty space had been driving me nuts. I am no minimalist. Over the next few months, we shot and edited and brainstormed and collaborated on so many different projects that we were able to start developing at least some type of idea of what we need from this space, how we want to film in it, and how we're going to keep things organized, especially if we are also going to be filming inside of it. Recently, our good friend and studio mate Josh decided that he was gonna want to revitalize his container as well. He had it functioning mostly as like a storage area and desk to work at, but he really wanted to be able to like film and make content in his space. It got me really inspired to like get back in the design train and try to make something out of our studio. As much as it was Josh that got us first inspired to redo our container space, the real kickoff moment was when I noticed our friends Becky and Chris painting a new office for Chris with this matte sage color. So I sent them a message and said, hey, what paint is that? I'm going to copy you. So while our office is still very much a work in progress, and I expect it to be for quite some time, there's something so special knowing that we built this place. Top to bottom, front to back, warts and all. And I think that's pretty damn cool. In this latest update of our office, there was really only a few things that needed to get done. Obviously we painted the walls and we finally got around to painting and sealing the subfloors, which will eventually have real floors, maybe, who knows, probably not. I took off the L section of my desk, turning it into a, an I section in order to save some space in here. And we moved Dave's desk onto the back wall and hung this big shelf that I found in an abandoned mental hospital like 10 years ago. So that's fun. That could have been awful. So that's kind of it, really. That's uh, the state of our office circa late March 2023. The space now feels so much cozier, but it's also more <laughs> practical and has more shooting options. It's just kind of all around uh, a lot better than it was over the last year. 
We've built out at least three or four distinct shooting locations in here with several more that we can make from just slightly tweaking the lighting or tweaking the angle of the camera. And I find that really fun because Evil Empire does function as a rental studio, which means it's pretty common that we'll be relegated to staying in our office while other people are building out in the rest of the warehouse. So we need to make sure that this office is as good as it can be for as many tasks as possible. Speaking of the rest of the warehouse, we will eventually make a video about the rest of the actual studio, but that's for another day. Today was just the interior. Next time, we're going outside. Thanks for watching. Love you. Well, that doesn't fit. It also kind of looks like crap. I hate this stuff.